The game of life is full of challenges. And in life, like all games, there are rules, skill is required, but in the game of life, there are no do-overs. We came from Nigeria to Canada when I was just four years old. Uh, we lived in Brandon, just west of Winnipeg. <laughs> and, you know, my family, we didn't have much in the way of material things, but I always had big dreams. So today I'm here to share a little bit about my personal experience and give you a few keys from my life's playbook in hopes that they might help you achieve a few more wins in your life. So regardless of who you are or where you're from, or any details about your past, you can achieve and do great things. You were created, you were born to achieve and do great things. So what's holding you back? My life is testament that action and decision define you, not circumstance. So nothing. There is nothing holding you back. In whatever it is that you want to do, you can win. Now, first, you need to understand what you bring to the game. What are your skills? What are your gifts, your abilities, your strengths? There are many. Think about them. Physical, spiritual, emotional, mental. An endless combination making you unique. When I think about my gifts, my combination of skills, you know, obviously, first, you think athletic, football, hockey, basketball. I played growing up. You know, you think about mental and physical toughness. But I also spent a lot of time working in after-school programs right here in Ryerson Elementary School at the YMCA. So I was focused on my relational skills, creative skills, spontaneity, an endless list of gifts. What are your gifts? What are your skills? Now, when you know your gifts and your abilities, now it's important for you to understand the rules of the game. Now, when you know the rules of the game, you know exactly what plays you need to execute in order to win. Now, your game plan is comprised. It's a list made up of your execution list. What play must you make today, right now, in order to win the opportunity in front of me? Now, I don't care about what stage of the game that you're in, whether it's high school, college, mid-career, retirement, we all have goals that we're working toward. What are you doing today, right now, to ensure your win? Now, the NFL, I knew, was going to be a, a short-lived career. It was going to be over quickly. So it was important for me to begin to transition to life after football while I was still in the game. So I began to learn the rules of building a successful business. And because I played sports, I wasn't exempt from the challenges I had, sacrifice, hard work, an endless list of things that I have to face. It was not easy. But in 2015, when I retired, I was positioned to win. I stepped out of my cleats into a business that I was fortunate to be a part of. So it's very possible. In what you're doing today, in any situation that you're in, you can start to build, you can start to position yourself to do that thing in your life that you're most passionate about, that thing that you love. Now, when you know that thing, when you know what that is, you can now begin to define your wins. And from that definition, you build your game plan. Your wins are unique to you. They're different from mine, as anybody in this room. Your, your wins are yours. And from that big picture game plan, you should scale it all the way down to those wins, win by win, a day-to-day -day approach on what needs to be done for you to win that big picture. Now, knowing your skills, knowing your abilities, understanding the rules of the game, that helps frame the big picture. But still from there, you need to take it all the way down to that small step, that step by step, that next thing, that next win that you need in order to get to where you want to be. So you take, in sport, football, it's about winning championships. If you want to win a championship, well, first, you've got to make playoffs. You've got to have a winning season. You have to win games, one game at a time. It's about winning one game at a time. Well, in order to win one game, you have to win the play. One play, one play at a time. That's what life is about. In life, it's about winning that one play, taking it one play at a time. So for me, in that transition plan that I had, I wanted to have a successful business before finishing my career in the NFL. So, 
I had to find a successful business. We found one when I started Bless Communion. Then I decided, hey, I got to get a client. About 12 months had went by, I hadn't sold a single unit of product. That's a problem. Let's find someone to sell this product to. We found one. One. Win. Let's sell 10,000 units. Let's sell a million units of product. Win. Sell 20 million, 30 million units of product. Win. 100 million units. Let's be a world leader in pre-filled communion solutions. Championship. So we just recently shipped about 100,000 cups to Zimbabwe, our largest international order. Win. We just sent a bunch of product to space, to the space station. That's an unexpected win. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's what life is all about. It's about winning. It's about producing. It's about production. Consistency. Making that play consistent, consistently, day in, day out. And consistency is what defines greatness. It's easy to make the play one time. It's easy to show up and be there one time, to do the right thing one time. That's, that's easy. But can you consistently produce? That's what it's about. Now, if you struggle with production, with your, with your consistency, a key to that is finding your passion. Passion, when you have that, it's easy to wake up and do the things necessary to be there, to be great, to, to win, because it's driven internally. And that passion is going to lead to your production. And production, when you're doing what you love at a high level and you're producing, you will advance. And that advancement, that reward of doing the thing that you love, ultimately is going to bring you to a place of balance. And that's what life is about. It's about finding balance, peace in our lives. So don't waste another minute, another second in whatever it is that you're doing. Find passion. Create your passion within that thing. Now, it's easier said than done, yes. So it's critical that with that plan, you cement it in discipline, in patience and in flexibility. Because along the journey, there's going to be things that you need to do, but you don't necessarily want to do. But those things are critical to your success. Also critical is along the way, during those micro wins, you need to make corrections at the small level, at the micro wins. Don't wait too long to assess your success, because that weight could be detrimental to your big picture win. So for me, you know, I was not necessarily always passionate about the game of football. I had a coach, Kevin Grindy. He said, Izzy, I want you to come play football. I was in high school. I said, eh, I don't love football. He said, Izzy, come play. I said, no, yes, no, yes. Oh, I said, all right, I'll play. So I went out and I played. And that opportunity led to me playing five years here at the University of Manitoba, full also with challenges, but we made it. And that led to the NFL, an opportunity. We were not highly recruited, but... We were there, we had an opportunity, and I, I remember standing in Indianapolis outside of the NFL Combine, I had a, a bag of uh, VHS tapes, uh, if anybody still remembers those. <laughs> and my agent was inside, he'd send out scouts to me, I'd give him a tape, I'd introduce myself, and that opportunity allowed me to get an opportunity to play for the Cleveland Browns. I fractured my ankle, I ended up getting cut, Chicago picked me up. And during that rookie year, I had someone tell me, Izzy, if you could play in the NFL 10 years, you would have had a successful career. So I set that as my big picture win. I want to make it 10 years in the NFL. And then I started to work. We went from making the team, one, I just got to make the team. When I made it, I was on practice squad. And then they sent me to Germany. I lived in Europe for four months. I came back and I made the team, 53-man roster, but I only played special teams. And then I had the opportunity to come in on just third downs, passing situation, nickel downs, and rush the passer. And then finally, six years into my career, I had the opportunity to start. And I earned, I won a starting job. Now along that whole, that whole journey, it was challenging. But we hung in there, we continued to make those right decisions. A challenge was one year they asked me to get to 315 pounds to predominantly play defensive tackle. And then the following year, they said, hey, you know what, we want you to get down to about 260 and we want you to play defensive end. And I was able to make that adjustment. That flexibility was critical to me having a long career. And every step of the way, understanding I had to exp exceed expectations, I had to outperform my competition, and I had to make those adjustments, all critical to life. 
and the journeys that we all go on. So that 11 career that I was fortunate to see was based on those things. And at the end of the day, your big picture plans, they need to be rooted. They need to have the ability for your short-term goals to be flexible and constantly being adjusted, constantly being changed, all the while while you're focused on that big picture win. Also, I want you to find a veteran. Find a player who's been there, who's where you want to be, who has a playbook that they can share with you, what they did, what they didn't do. That veteran is going to be able to introduce you to key people, to show you key moves and techniques that they use that allow them to be successful. You know, for me, I had someone tell me, you know what, Izzy, you need to make that transition to post-career while you're still in the game. Critical. Those words changed my life. I looked to think bigger. I looked to build my life plan with focused intent. Now, I've been able to achieve and, and really get to some places beyond my wildest dreams and imaginations, and for that I'm very thankful. But it never stops. After you achieve one goal, you go to the next. I still have many different things that I'm looking to achieve, many goals that I'm looking to attain. So as you work towards your goals and you work towards your dreams, I challenge you. Build your plan focused on having a plan where you know your strengths, you know your abilities, you know your skills. Root that plan in understanding the rules of the game. Understand that you have to build it step by step, focused on those micro wins. And then also, every step of the way, it needs to be rooted in discipline, flexibility, patience, and then find a mentor, someone who can show you their playbook. Now, if you do those things, I promise you, one day you will hold up the championship in your life. Now, I want you to invent something, create a big idea, fight for a cause. At any stage of the game that you're in, whether it's in your immediate space or on a global stage, it's not too late. There's nothing holding you back. It's time for you to win. Thank you.